I am all ready for tonight. I see. <laughs> How are you doing, Boomy? How's his eye look? It looks, um, you know, it's been open all this time. Now it's closed. So, his iris? Oh. Uh. Just the so. Oh yeah. It probably sunlight probably doesn't hurt him quite as much, but I don't quite know. Having the opposite effect. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, everybody, I hope you're prepared for the most intense, nail-biting, emotional roller coaster episode of The Walking Dead there is. That's what they are saying this is going to be this week and I hope you are all prepared. I even have my box of tissues. And it's not on for several hours but I'm ready. And uh, Kevin is sporting my shirt. Show us your shirt. Oh, sorry. He can't move his cap. I cannot. Loving on me. Aren't you? He's wearing the Hope for Elijah shirt. We haven't gotten the new one in yet, but he's wearing this one, which is okay. I don't mind sharing. Well, I want to show them what we made for lunch. Okay. We got for lunch, I did mushrooms, onions, chickpeas, and chicken. This is my lunch today. Nice and healthy. I have to eat. I have to eat. Yeah, Kevin's not going to make Boomer get off his lap while he eats. Uh, and there he goes with the salt. Alright, so I got some new food for the rats. Because they're going through it pretty fast. So, here you go, buddy. Here you go. Let's, let's go through the bar. Oh, there you go. Alright, so I also got some... Uh, of your standard crickets for the lizards and uh, the light went out on our uh, bearded dragon so I got a new light I need to fix the top the uh, screen has come through one of the cats probably sat on it and um, since it's getting kind of expensive to feed them crickets I decided I wanted to look for something else to feed them so I have leopard gecko food for our our guy over here this is uh, our little crooked guy. Hello, little crooked guy. That's uh, lips are crooked leopard. I got some crested gecko food. It's called Flukers. I hope he'd like it. And this way I can actually feed them more often. I have bearded dragon food as well. Adult bearded dragon food. So, I hope they can eat it. I hope they like it. Right now, I'm going to be feeding them um, the crickets. That switch is always a lot of fun. Okay, a couple of things I need to do first is I need to put some calcium on these guys. I got some repti calcium for them. Um, I don't know why you need to put that on crickets because I assume that their exoskeletons are made out of calcium. But, uh, yeah. Let's do this anyway. Alright. It makes them a little hard for them to catch because they have these sticky teeth. Sticky tongues, I should say. And they just stick the tongues to the bugs, but with the, the calcium on it, they, uh, they just get a mouthful of calcium. Alright, Sebastian. So I'm going to feed a lips first. Here you go, let's... Oh, oh, it's a little more than I... Oh, doing some loop-de-loops there. T 
<laughs> you see them? Yeah, so he's gonna have a little struggle getting these guys. He's got a, quite a few in here, so he'll be okay getting them, right? But I'm also going to give him some of his leopard gecko food. A little pile right here. I'm gonna have to probably come up with a bowl of some sort. Now, last time I fed uh, Andromeda, she came running. Let's see if uh, I get the same response here. Come on, Andromeda. There she is, hunting. There she goes. Now, Cirrus, I know he was, there he is, he's up there. All right, Cirrus, here's some food for you. There you go. What do you think, guy? There you go. Did you come down, Cirrus? Come on down. These are flukers. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. You have a little bowl. Okay. I don't think I have a little bowl for her, but she's going to town. I have to come up with something. Put some on the ground right here. Some on the ground right there. I watered those guys already this morning. So, they're all happy with that. Okay. It's quarter after six. We've been recording The Walking Dead. It's time to go black. We are watching The Walking Dead. I am ready. Got my Daryl shirt on. Got my Walking Dead Daryl pillow. I got my Daryl right here. Got my box of tissues because they said this is an emotional roller coaster ride of it. An episode. Wow! Have all of you seen The Walking Dead yet? Yes, dear. Don't you dish my Walking Dead. Wow. Yeah. We have to wait a whole season now for it to come back on. Yeah. <sighs> I, I, I can't do it. I, I, I just can't do it. Can't do it. I can't. Can't do it. Can't go that long without my Daryl. Go. Oh. Talking about my man. It's time for neighborhood community shout outs. Okay. I was telling you all about what Tanya Longley thought of when she hears the word fun yesterday. I want to kind of elaborate a little bit on that. Lamoil. Okay, Lamoil. 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 Okay. I don't know how to pronounce it either. It's a funny word. L A M O I L L E Area Cancer Network, and it's called Lacing Up for Cancer. And she's going to be purchasing luminary bags and designing them. She's purchasing one for her mother, one for me, and one for Elijah from Mom's Vlog 80. So, Melody, if you're watching this, go check out uh, what the program is. And uh, make sure you thank Tanya because she's going to be walking for Elijah this year. As well as her mother and me. Okay, and my question yesterday was about what is too hot for you, what is too cold for you, what is perfect for you, and does it match your partner? We had so many people that it, it, it's way too hot. Way, way too hot. Um, I, I kind of like the Tucker Zone answer here. It's 
Cold is where he has he can't wear he needs to wear something more than a t-shirt. And hot is when he has problems breathing. I always say if you're cold, if you're too cold, you can always put something on. If you're too hot, you can't always take something off. That's my logic. And Christy Shiver, I'm on your page because 55 to 60 is perfect. That's where I would be. Oh my gosh. That 55 is to 60. 70 would be my top heat. Is the, the, the hottest I would like it. And then it would have to be cloudy. So I'd be having a lot of shade. Because 70 in the sun is too hot. And as you can tell, what is your temperatures? My temperatures probably, uh, my comfort range would be 60s to 90s. See, as you can tell, we don't match. So, that's all I have. Okay. 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 Now, my question for today is, what do you think has been the greatest invention ever? It's time for... <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay. <laughs> little jumpy? Oh, I have no reason to be jumpy. <laughs> okay, question last night was about Army of Darkness. The question was, there was three words that that poor uh, Bruce Campbell had to, to memorize in order to get the in order to get the uh, Necronomicon and they ended up using the three words from the movie um, uh, The Day of, uh, The Earth Stood Still 1951 and those words were Klaatu, Barada, and Nikto and of course he never got them right uh, so uh, those who, who got those that right is Number one, Terry Johnson. Number two, Bambi S. Number three, Tanya Longley. Number four, Greg Myers. And number five, John Harris. Continue your cardboard fantasy right there. Uh, today's um, trivia is about uh, the 1999 The Haunting. And where was it filmed? What locations were used? That's a question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all. You've been replaced. So very much. So have you. <laughs> Come on, over. Thumbs up. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Make sure you go by and check out all our other fun channels. Bye. There you go.